For today's tracing paper, I'm going to be using gift tissue. You can also use brown parchment paper. It's actually a really good hack because you can see right through it. So it makes tracing or coloning patterns very accurate and easy, especially if you're a beginner. Today's shorts, I'm going to be copying these high-waisted sports shorts. They have nice pockets and they're very comfortable. So I'm going to make a part two video of sew along of me putting the shorts together so that you can see how that's done. But for this video, I'm going to just keep it short and simple. The little bonus hack that I learned, if you flip your garments inside out, then you can skip the whole adding a one inch seam allowance and it saves you lots of time when you're doing your projects. I didn't do it this time because I'm just showing the example of how to trace something to create a pattern. And yeah, so I hope that flipping your garments inside out helps you save some time on having to skip adding a one inch seam allowance for your next projects. Now we're gonna flip it to the back side and we're gonna do basically the same thing I like to add little basic notes. So for the waistband, I'm cutting it on the fold. So I just went ahead and did that just so I don't forget. Um, I like to keep my notes on my pattern pieces very simple. Um, anytime I make stuff, just because I don't like to overcomplicate things, I think it just makes, it just wastes, for me personally, I feel like it wastes time, especially if I'm just learning and practicing um, and I'm just trying to get the basics right so that I can get the accuracy of getting the garments together in a proper way. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you get your pattern pieces together so that we can sew our shorts together in the next video where I do a shorts sew along.